Hi everyone, on this video I'm going to teach you how to make the red sauce for the tamales. There are two kinds of sauce. There's one made with the mole and there's another another one made with uh, chile guajillo and chile puya. Okay? So you're going to, what you're going to do is that here are the, the chiles or the peppers and you just want to uh, take the top off and with the knife you're going to cut through it and you're gonna open it and you're gonna remove the seeds so you're gonna do this with all the peppers uh, you're gonna use five guajillos and five puyas anyway in the description I'm gonna leave the um, the names of the peppers so that you can find them well now what you're gonna do is that uh, now they're clean they don't have uh, seeds in them you cover them with water and you're gonna you're gonna turn the stove on. Well, now that this came to a boil, you wanna leave them for a minute there in the boiling water, and then uh, you're just gonna turn them off. You're just gonna turn the stove off, and that's it. You're gonna let them soak for about 10, 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, guys. Well, here are the peppers. I already kind of drained them because I'm not gonna use that liquid. So I'm just gonna take them and put them here in the blender and I'm gonna add a clove of garlic a piece of onion maybe like half of a small onion and I'm gonna add look this is a spoon okay this is a tablespoon I'm gonna add some uh, ground clove or you can add if you have the whole clove you can add two of those but, because this is a ground one, you have to be very careful with this because it has so much flavor that if you add too much, it's not going to be good, trust me. Uh, just, this is just a pinch of ground clove. Okay? Don't put too much. Remember that, always. And I'm going to add maybe a cup of water. But you can add chicken broth if you have, okay? But in my case, I'm, I'm just going to add water. And I'm going to blend this real well. Okay, guys. Well, for the red sauce or for the red tamales, you can use, for the meat, you can use uh, chicken meat already. This is already cooked. I already have this video on how to cook the chicken. And it's on my channel. And I'm going to leave a link here. And a link in the description so that you, if in case you don't know how to do it, and I'm gonna leave it right there. But mostly in Mexico, the red tamales are made with pork. Okay, now I used to do the pork the same way as the chicken, I used to uh, put it to a boil for about two hours, shred it, and a lot of work. But today, I'm gonna try something different. You can do that if you want. You can cook the meat the same way as the chicken. You can cook, cook the pork just with the onion, garlic, and water for two hours. I'm going to try it out and I'm going to tell you when the tomatoes are ready if I liked it or not. But I think I'm going to like it because this is time saving. Okay? So. I have here a piece of a pork. I don't know if you have seen the picnic shoulders. They're this big well I have a piece of meat here it doesn't have um, the skin like it usually does but this is the picnic uh, the picnic shoulder part what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in small pieces okay and by I mean small I mean like this size and then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do because the tamales are gonna be in the steam for about hour and a half so that might give it time to cook by itself and you don't have to cook it aside but that's the way my parents used to make they used to cook the meat separate and then when it's cooked shred it and put it in the tamales but I want to kind of change the recipe right now okay now in a clean pan you're gonna make sure it doesn't have water now uh, uh, it's already turned on you're gonna pour some oil we're gonna wait until the oil gets hot 
Now remember, we are using raw meat, but if you had to make already cooked, it's the same thing. You're gonna fry it anyway. You're gonna. I think I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna cook this for about five minutes. Now, while the meat is cooking, I have here half a cup of water and I'm going to add a quarter cup of this uh, masenka, you know, this is for making tamales. I don't know if you could see the label it's for tamales. This masenka, you can find it anywhere in Mexican stores, okay? Even in supermarkets, you can find it. I'm going to add a quarter cup of this flour and I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to use this to thicken the sauce that we made because it's going to be running and we don't want that for the tamales. Okay, we want the, the sauce to be not that runny so that we can work with it. So just make sure you mix it well and you don't have any lumps. If for some reason, if you want to make tamales and you don't find this maseca for tamales, don't worry about it. Use the other one, the one that, that's for tortillas. You can use that too, okay? Okay, it's been about five minutes and it's starting to smell good. Trust me. What I'm gonna do is, here is the sauce that I made and I'm gonna pour it. I'm gonna use the strainer so that we, we can take out uh, all the stuff that we don't need. So just give it a good shake and go little by little because my strainer is small but if you have a bigger one you can go faster and whenever you finish with this part if you already took out all the juice out just throw it to the garbage okay I already added all the sauce here as you can see and I'm gonna lower the heat very low and I'm gonna add the the mixture that I made earlier, this uh, masa with water, okay, you want to stir fast, and you want to add it little by little, okay, so just go, just go slow, don't throw it everything at the same time, just kind of pour a little bit on and mix it real fast, <clears throat> this way you don't get any lumps, okay? If you do it, the whole thing is going to create lumps. Just do it like that, the whole thing, okay? Now, what this is going to do is going to thicken our sauce. As you can see, the sauce is thicker now, okay? It changed the color and it's thicker. And I'm going to try it to see if it needs more salt. And it needs a little bit more salt to me. Because I didn't have much when I was frying it. Just season it to taste. And I'm going to leave this for about 5 more minutes here in a low, low heat. And that's it. I'm going to give you a little tip. If you're going to make tamales, make them one day ahead of time. They're going to taste better. And you're not going to have a kitchen mess. Because making tamales is trust me a big job okay so um, just do your sauces one day ahead and keep them in the refrigerator covered with plastic or in a container and you're gonna be good for the next day remember that I told you that I was gonna tell you how this tamale experiment came out well we're gonna find out here is one of the red tamales and oh my god if you would be here, this smells amazing. Now, the thing that um, I was worried about if the meat was going to cook, I'm going to try a piece. And as you can see, the, uh, the meat, it's, uh, it's tender. So that means that the, cook, the meat cooked and you don't have to cook it uh, first and then cook it again, you know? So I'm gonna try it. Mmm. And it's... 
It's so good. So, I'm very happy that I thought about this because I always used to see my mom cooking the meat and then putting it in the tamale and I was like, well, I guess that the meat could cook inside the tamale, but this time it did and it has a good flavor. Because uh, the flavor that um, the pork released is in here. It's not in the, in the broth. So uh, I like this way that I did it and I hope you do it the same way so that you could save some time and some gas. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.